Hey everyone, this is K1 Inc. And today, guys, we're going to be doing a tutorial on a 3x4 wide piston door. Now, right now, we're on the inside, guys. When you hit that button, the doors will open up beautifully. And once you get out, it will close right behind you automatically. Now, with this kind of door, I want to add a bunch of security features to make sure that you can lock it from the inside and out safely. Cause last thing you wanted somebody to come in and rob your stuff. Now, what I'm using as my personal key is a poppy flower. Now that lights off and the door, believe it or not, is still unlocked. Now when you put the stuff in the dropper or the key you want to use, it's going to shoot right back and that light will turn on to letting you know that the entire front door is permanently locked. So no matter how many times you press that button, nothing will happen. Now, say for example, somebody tries to be slick and put a whole bunch of items hoping that it might unlock the door. Nothing will happen unless you have that specific key. And I even added another dropper on the other side, which is a complete fake to throw people off as well. See? And it still is locked. Now, once you put the key back in of whatever you're going to use as the key itself, it's going to shoot right back. The light's going to turn off and it's going to let you know that the door is now unlocked. So when you press that button, you can go right through it with no headaches. See, it's a great security feature. Now you can even lock it from the inside as well. So no matter what, the door is completely locked and you have these awesome security features to make sure that no one comes in and out while you're doing things. So let's go to the other side on the outside. I'm going to press that button. Because we locked it from the inside, you can see right away, guys, nobody is coming in. See? Now, once you hit that lever and you press the button, now the door is completely unlocked. Perfect. Now, enough talking. Let's get right into it. Now, the cobblestone represents the outside. The wood represents the inside. And that little andesite in the middle represents the door itself okay so remember it's two blocks away from the wall from the outside one block from the inside you see so make sure you pause that video part and get all your dimensions perfect remember that represents the actual door itself now you're going to place the block right there on the inside part with a redstone torch then you're going to place three rail activators right across because they're really easy to make and that's why i'm using them you can even use power rails if you want to. Now place two observer blocks like so. One on each side. And then a block in front of it. And one right there as well. With a piece of rest on dust. Well, a repeater on top of the uh, observer block on four ticks. And then a piece of rest on dust right behind it. See? Perfect. Now facing upwards right at the top of those rails, you're going to place an observer block like so. And a block right on top of it. Then you're going to place two sticky pistons on both sides. And right next to it, you're going to place two observer blocks so that it can read the actual redstone dust and the repeater itself. And on top of it, place a sticky pistons facing inwards. Now place your block right there with a sticky piston like so and two more on top. And on the opposite side guys are going to repeat the same exact thing. So place two sticky pistons or three in total. Delete that block underneath and there you have it. You should have this kind of symmetrical pattern. Place your block right there. Another piece of rest on dust, a block parallel to that rest on dust with a rest on dust on top of it. And at this point, guys, you're going to place a slab right there. One, two, delete that one. A block right there on top of it, a slab on the side, a block on top, a slab on the other side, block on top, another slab, and another block right there with a slab and a block right there and a slab and you should have this exact pattern. 
Now let's delete the blocks because we're not going to use those. And we're going to add some redstone dust like so going upwards. And of course, guys, do the same exact pattern on this side as well. So make sure to go back and forth for your slabs until you get this identical look with the rest on dust going upwards. Perfect. And what that does is it allows everything to be synchronized. Now you're going to add a few blocks right across from that point. And in the middle, we're going to place two blocks going upwards. And those are going to be temporary. And delete these two and these two as well. And add two sticky pistons facing downwards. And delete those blocks as well. Replace them on the side. And let's add some redstone dust on both ends to really make this look nice. Now, not for nothing, I'm just I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. <laughs> but you can place a few blocks right across, and your redstone dust right there. And if you wanted to, instead of the slab there, you can actually replace that with a block itself. Completely optional; it's not much of a difference, but. You know, I just want to let you know you do have that option. Now, right now, we're going to be working on the outside part of the door. So starting right here on the left-hand side, place a sticky piston facing downwards. Then you'll place a block right there so that it's holding it. And at this point, guys, place a dropper right next to it and one on top of it. Perfect. And on the side, on the bottom dropper, place two hoppers facing forward. Then you're gonna place a block right next to it. Another one on top, one on the bottom, like so, creating this kind of pattern with a repeater going forward, a wrestling torch underneath. And on top of it, you're gonna place a comparator going towards the opposite direction with a hopper facing forward. See? And just two pieces of wrestling dust. That's gonna be the sorting system which will allow us to set up our actual key. We'll get to that later. Now that we have that there, place a sticky piston right there parallel to the rest on torch with a, an observer block facing upwards. You see how the activation part is facing upwards? That's going to send the key right back to us. Then right over here, place a repeater with a lever right behind it. You're going to activate it so that when that piston door goes down, it's going to activate the system. So going to activate that rest on dust with a block right there. A rest on torch on the side with a block on top of it, another rest on torch. And at this point, you're going to place a block or the floor itself with a rest on lab next to it. That's going to be the light indication system letting us know that the system is locked. Perfect. Now, once that block goes downwards, because it's going to make a quick pulse, it's going to take pulse activating that to go down permanently. Place a repeater right there with a block in front of it. And at this point, you're going to place a block right there. And then one, two, three, four, five pieces of wrestling dust in this perfect kind of C shape. Fantastic. Now, starting on the sides, guys, you're going to place a regular piston right on the side or in the middle of each piston. See right there? I was in the middle or parallel to that. And on the bottom, you're going to place a sticky piston. And on this side as well. And right there. Perfect. Now, right now, we're on the inside part of this. And I want you to place a block right there. Another one like so. And you're going to add a redstone torch with a repeater going forward. And that's going to be our locking system for the inside. Place a block right there. And then you're going to place a block there with some redstone dust, a slab right there on the side. So that when the block goes down, it's going to activate this repeater you're going to place going forward with a block on top of it. And what that does is it kind of keeps the activator rails on. Now you're gonna go on the outside part of this, guys, and place a, an observer block right there and there where the sticky pistons are located. And starting about one block down, place a slab like so. 
place another one on next to it and delete that one so that they're both parallel to the sticky pistons. And you're going to place a repeater going forward on two ticks. And place another repeater going forward on two ticks. And you're going to place a block right there and there as well with a comparator going forward and one going on the opposite direction with two pieces of redstone dust on both sides. And what we're creating here is called a timer, a clock timer or a comparator timer. Now we're going to place the block on top so that when that goes down and this will allow us to basically open the door long enough for us to go through and close it. Now, starting on the inside, guys, on the same side, you're going to place a redstone dust going forward towards that block with a redstone torch. Hope you guys caught it. That was on the inside part of the same side. Now, at this point, guys, delete the two pistons on the left-hand side on the outside. And once you've done that, we're going to start setting up the actual key system. Now, for this, you need an anvil. So, first thing you're going to do is get four pieces of dirt and rename it whatever you want. And you can also... Get 19 pieces of whatever you want to use as the key itself. Okay, I'm using 19 poppies. You don't have to rename it, but if you can, you can also rename that. And I'll show you exactly how to set up. Now, we're going to put four pieces of code for dirt. We're going to put one, two, three, whatever the case is, and 19 of the actual poppy seed. Now, I'm using poppy as my key. But like I said, guys, you can use whatever you want to use. As long as you have about 20 pieces of it, you're good to go. Just make sure you rename that as well if you want to be more specific about the key. Now, on top of here, guys, you can add a dropper, a chest, whatever you want to use to drop your key in so that you can create this effect so that it can go in that hopper and unlock and lock the system. So like I said earlier, guys, you could also rename the actual key itself. Now, on the side where the regular pistons are, place a redstone lamp on each one with a button of your choice in front of it. And on the left-hand side, you're just going to add a lever. And that's on the inside part. See? Fantastic. This really comes together, guys. Now, at this point, you want to place a block there and delete that one. And put a four wide by three high block setup of how you want your door to look like. Fantastic. Now, right on the inside, you want to place some blocks there because when you open it, you don't want anything to look out of place and so that it could all look flush and perfect. Now, at this point, you're going to place a few blocks right on the side. And we're going to try to decorate this as much as you want. Now, at this point, the design is complete. All you have to do is really decorate it and incorporate it to your style. So what I did was I added a few blocks over here to kind of cover up the floor, make sure I didn't cover up or interfere with any of the pistons. And really just make this look as flush as possible. See? Perfect. Now, once you've decorated the outside to your likings, you're going to go on the inside now. And at this point, really take it to that next level, guys. Really make this look beautiful. I mean, really just go all out. And you're going to really make this flush and design is complete and you're good to go, guys. <laughs> Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.